As they came through the tunnel earlier, the Pacers were already in all business mode, ready to defend their home turf. Traffic coursing through brightly lit Indianapolis, the crossroads of America. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA live on 2K Sports. And tonight, we'll see the Indiana Pacers as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Green and Harris, the forwards. Seth Curry is out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Embiid in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Indiana, Sabonis and Turner work together inside. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon, then it's Karis Levert, and it's Dorte in at the two-guard spot. And a high-tempo game tonight. Both teams like to get out and run, Grant. Well, hey, when you've got the speed and athleticism, it's the best way to play. You have to challenge the defense to keep up with you. Here we go. And the Pacers start out with the ball. Brogdon with the ball. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You know, Grant Court is a familiar place for Malcolm Brogdon's family. It's just Malcolm's involves a ball instead of a gal. <laughs> yeah, his father Mitchell is a lawyer and a mediator. Brothers Gino and John are also both in law. And while Malcolm hasn't gone to law school, he did earn a master's degree while in college. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And you know, the 2016-17 Rookie of the Year continues to impress. Brogdon is a valuable role player who does a lot of things well. And he makes both free throws. You know Malcolm Brogdon is a guy who can get it done offensively. The shooting percentage really speaks for itself. And he knows how to find shots in a hurry. Now here's Embiid. Outside, green. Harris, outside. Oh, got a piece of it. Shot clock at five. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. Brogdon, double teamed. Pass to Levert. Launches a three. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. You really do have to respect Brogdon's offensive game. I think he's clearly a guy who puts in the work. You're exactly right, B.A. He does put in the work. He's a high-effort player. Both when it's game time and behind the scenes, you don't see percentages like his without a lot of hours being spent in the practice gym. Here's Duarte. Here's Turner. And he parries his first look. Exceptional skills for Turner down in the paint. This guy, I think, has the potential to be a dominant player inside for a lot of years. Outside, Green. And the three-pointer goes. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Now here's Brogdon. Tight defense on him. Levert outside. Out to Sabonis. They get it back. Back to Levert. Let's the three fly. Pure from three-point range. Levert's got six. Sabonis making sure to pass it where his teammates are open. And that's just being a good passer there. Green, the pass to Embiid. Here's Maxi on the wing. Green. Embiid inside. Turner covers. Embiid can't hit. Indiana's gone two for two from deep to start this one. Here's Brogdon. Sweet little floater. <laughs> I just love the ball. For Philadelphia, they've gone one of three from the floor. Now here's Curry. 15 in his last outing. 
Here's Maxi. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. That's good as he hits both shots. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Indiana leading. Brogdon, the pass to Levert. Driving in, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. Man, what an athlete. Once he gets ahead of steam, Karis Levert is impossible to stop. Good luck trying. Here's Maxi. For three, here's Harris. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Here's Duarte. He's covered by Curry. Levert. And there's the slam. Don't to finish it off. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that. If you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Here's Duarte. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. With the fadeaway. Sabonis can't hit. Well, it's a make or miss league. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Curry finds Harris. Here's Embiid. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Few players in the NBA strike fear into opponents, but MB is one of them because of his size, skill, and crazy strength. They double him with Harris. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. Second shot opportunity. And there's a nice layup by Sabonis. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Pass to MB. MB drawing the double team. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Turner. Warren checked in for Indiana. TJ Warren. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. Out to Harris. Four on the clock. Took the opportunity when he saw it. You know, over time, as its game has evolved, Harris has accepted a bigger expanded role. He knows he has the green light. We talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. Here's Turner. Excellent D there from Embiid. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Pacers have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Here's Levert. An easy two on the layup. Levert's got 12 points in the game. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. against Levert. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Boy, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Here's Maxi. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. 
Back to Maxi. Fires the three. Buries it from three. Maxi. He's got five. Intelligent ball movement that time from MB, getting it to a guy with a better shot. From deep. And so it's the Indiana Pacers up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. They've been aggressive in transition and find themselves in front. We'll be back in a moment. And you asked Joel Embiid, he's not satisfied with the way he's playing recently. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. Then. Uh, I guess the process continues, Grant. And with big men, it's got to be a team effort. You got to feed him the rock, B.A. inside and help him get it going. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Matisse Thibel out there with Shake Milton. Then there's Furkan Korkmaz. Then there's Tobias Harris. And it's Drummond in at the five. Outside Thibel. Harris on the wing. Outside Milton. A shot from the mid-range. Offensive rebound. Here's Drummond. Perfect night so far, two for two. Hey, if you don't box out Drummond, this happened. He's an exceptional offensive rebounder who can hurt you big time with the putbacks. McConnell goes in. Rebound by the 76ers. It's off to Utah after this one, where they'll face the Jazz. And their road tour has only begun. That'll be game two of six. Back to Thibel. Outside Milton. Takes it inside, lays it up, and banks it in. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. And the Pacers shooting really well in this matchup. 62% from the floor. Here's McConnell. Blocked! Harris outside. Outside Dival. Pass to Milton. Drummond with the ball. Now here's Milton. Back to Drummond. Here's Korkmaz. Off the mark there with a three. The Pacers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's McConnell. It's not going to go for him. Ooh, good work defensively by Milton. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. Tell you what, fellas, like seeing Harris be engaged from there. I mean, refusing to settle for the simple layup. Nice finish. McConnell passes to Turner. And he makes it. Turner's gotten his second bucket of the game. But that's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Pass to Milton. Outside Dival. And here is Drummond. Harris on the wing. He's guarded by Sabonis. They get it back. The Pacers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Now here's Levert. Pass to Turner. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Levert. And that's a foul called on Demonis Sabonis. That's his first foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. The Sixers trailing. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Back to Thibel. Here's Duarte. 
Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Warren, shot is good. Well, I tell you what, I love watching Warren match the defense's intensity and still be able to convert. This is a hard-nosed, really good offensive player. Now here's Steibel. Here's Harris. And it falls. Four for eight for him from the floor. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. To the inside. Oh, rejected by Drummond. A really good shot blocker. I like how Drummond times it up when he goes after those rejections. Well done. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Here's Turner following the score by Philadelphia. Pass to Warren. Five to shoot. Connects from downtown. Warren's got seven points in the game. Came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. You know, T.J. Warren's accuracy is truly remarkable. Here's a guy who can really hit from anywhere. And even more than that, do it efficiently. And the 76ers call time here. You know, Grant, looking at Warren's precision shooting, he's used it to pull off some pretty staggering scoring performances. Yeah, a few guys have had over 50 points in a single game before. When he gets in the zone, Warren can have a huge impact. But you know, it's the result of a ton of hard work developing that solid shooting. The Pacers making a switch here. Brogdon's checked in. And one move ahead of the defense, a solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. If they play this right, they can go two for one. Yeah, they really have to work the clock right now. Here he goes. There's the block. One of the things you just love and respect and admire about Rock, and he just makes plays that help his team. Goes up off the inbound, and he sinks the layup. Maxie's got his third bucket of the night. Indiana has gone three of six from deep so far. Brogdon, the pass to Turner. Outside Brogdon. Fires the three. Hits a three-pointer. Seven points in the game. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Now Harris. Give him eight. Driving inside. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on T.J. Warren. Well, you look at Tobias Harris, and I really think attacking defenses is one of his strong suits. Taking two shots. Free throw drops for Harris. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. And Harris drops them both. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Pacers. They lead by two. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, I'm here with Coach Rick Carlisle. A hot start. Coach, what did you like about this team's execution offensively? Uh, we were making some shots. Uh, we moved the ball well at times. You've got to be careful about having the ball stick when they're doing their switching. Good luck with the ball movement in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Karis Levert has been the story in this one. 
He had 14 points, two rebounds, and two assists. And he wasn't himself in that last contest, but tonight, he's really turned it around. And Kenny, what'd you think about what we saw from Indiana? This is what the home fan loves to see. Their squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individuals stand out, but what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Philadelphia? Well, they need to turn the heat up on D. Too often we saw them back on the hill, not dictating the pace. They allowed a shooting percentage in the high 50s. Remind me of my free throw percentage, the high 50s. Come on, guys. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Karis LeVert. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've gotta be a lot tougher on him. Body him up, be physical with him. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Sabonis and Turner work together inside. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon, then it's Karis LeVert, and it's Dorte in at the two. That's the group for Rick Carlisle getting going here in the second half. On the wing, Curry, clock at six. This for the tie! And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist from Curry. Embiid's got his second basket. Here's Brogdon. Pass to Levert. Looking at the modern game, Grant, what adjustments would you have to make in your game to thrive in the league today? Well, I would have worked more on developing the three-point shot. Back in the 90s, it was more about the mid-range game, uh, a la Michael Jordan. But these guys now, they live at the arc, and that's just not how we did it back in the day when I was playing. And the first one at the line is good. You know, Karis LeVert had a few surgeries before entering the NBA, but took kind of a unique step in writing an open letter to NBA GMs telling them physically he'd be ready for the league. And you know what? He was right. Both free throws good for LeVert. Here's Maxi. He's got nine. Pass to Harris. Now Embiid. Back to Green for the lead. Gets the three to fall. Green's got the second bucket on the night. This is why Green's got a few rings now. He stretches defenses out with his shooting. Really helps your offense with his spacing because of that. Now here's Brogdon. He's got seven. Lavert passes to Turner. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The Sixers leading. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Maxi, guarded by Brogdon. And it's Maxi missing. Indiana's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Down low. Here's LeVert, and he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. And you know, LeVert, when he's on a roll, he's like a boulder. It just keeps snowballing in a positive direction, and nothing can stop him. Now here's Harris. Pass to Curry. Here's Embiid. Turner. I mean, that's a big part of blocking shots. Reading the shooter and then timing it perfectly to send that shot in reverse. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big time play. And here is Green. Now Embiid. Turner covers. And then Embiid with 
Get the dunk. Yeah, they call him Dancing Danny Green, and you can see why. Excellent offensive instincts there. Outside Brogdon. Pass to LaVert. Now here's Sabonis, hounded by Harris. And Brogdon with the stuff. It's nice to see when Brogdon doesn't settle for the layup. Instead, going in there to finish with power. It's hard to think about DeMontis Sabonis without thinking about his father. Arvidas Sabonis was one of the first great Lithuanian players in the NBA. Now here's LeVert. 18 points for him. LeVert is always aggressive. I like that mindset of his, especially in how he drives to the rim playing downhill. Goes there with a lot of speed. Here's Maxi. Here's Embiid. Solid Joel shot from Embiid. a distance of about 14 feet. Embiid's got eight. And in talking about Demonis Sabonis and his father, it's striking how many Lithuanian players have made it to the NBA. Yeah, it's not a short list. Demontis is one of many. His father has a plaque in the Hall of Fame. And I'm betting there'll be a few more before too long. Here's Maxi, guarded by Brogdon. Pass to Harris. Two minutes. Here's Embiid. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got six rebounds in the game. Outside Brogdon. That's tipped. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here's Maxi on the take. Pacers with a rebound. Sabonis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Brogdon against Curry. From the strike, Brogdon with the bucket. Brogdon's got four points this quarter. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Here's Maxi. He's got nine. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Philadelphia has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Six to shoot. Embiid inside. Working on Sabonis. Joel Embiid. Embiid's shot is good. Showing more patience this half. His shot selection has improved, and his field goal percentage is rising. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. They double him with Harris. Lavert passes to Turner. To the paint. Tipped. It's stolen by Green. Here's the break. Here's Curry. That falls. Seth nice Curry. set up by Harris. Curry's gotten his first bucket of the night. Seth Curry's game in the mid-range area continues to look better, taking advantage of all opportunities. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. The Sixers on top, up by one. Rick Carlisle had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. And look, you can score, but we're getting seduced into a shot trade with these guys. We don't want to do that, all right? And both teams are clicking right now. But Coach Carlisle knows that defense will be crucial if they want to win this game. Spot on. If they get a few stops, they'll be in great shape. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. Curry and Green, the two and the three. Joel Embiid is out there with Andre Drummond. And it's Maxi in at the point guard position. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the 76ers. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second chance points they've been able to get. Here's Maxi. He's marked by McConnell. Outside, green. 
Craig against Drummond. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to MB. Shoots over McConnell. And the 76ers tack on two more. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. McConnell passes to Warren. Driving to the basket. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Well, really hard to stop Warren when he gets moving downhill. I mean, he's got a really strong body, and he also has a pretty tight handle, too. Got a hand on it. Pass to land. It's Warren on the wing. Drummond defending. Baseline try. And that one's long. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. And here's Curry for three. Offensive board. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Some real tenacity from Drummond there. Battles through the foul for the and one play. Andre Drummond shooting one. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Grant, at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. Yeah, you just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Rim protection, points in the paint, he does just about everything you want in a big man. When he's on the floor, he lightens the load on every other member of their front court. Pass to Maxi. Here's Embiid. Book it again. Joel Seven Embiid. for 12 and going at the defense. Boy, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, I'm taking not, quality not, shots not, very not, much not, within not, the flow of the offense. Indiana calls timeout. Boy, you look at Joel Embiid. He's playing really well right now. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number and he knows it. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He was really urging them to stay after it, saying, quote, we're right there, guys. Keep playing for one another, and let's take this game. Bringing the inspiration. Back to you. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. At the line for Indiana, Domantis Sabonis. Two shots. throw drops for Sabonis. I look at Sabonis as a terrific stretch four. He's a guy who can play either power forward or center and he has excellent length and a nice touch. And Sabonis drops them both. And so here is Philadelphia. They lead by four. Here's Maxi. He's marked by McConnell. Pass to Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. He came out of halftime with renewed focus, heating things up offensively. McConnell outside. Here's Warren. Green covering. Warren against Green. Six on the shot clock. Elbow shot. And the shot falls short that time. For Philadelphia, they've gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. MB. That shot missing. Oh, great D that time from Craig. McConnell right side. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Outside Curry, takes a three, drains the triple. This is why you pay Seth Curry the big contract, the big money. His range is unlimited. Oh, stolen by MZ. Minutes remaining in the game, two minutes. And stolen by McConnell. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Yeah, but in this 
this case, I think he got it right. The defender was still moving there. And he never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Harris has checked in for Drummond. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Here's Levert. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Green's got four rebounds now. Curry finds Embiid. Back to Curry. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And it's an 11-point Philadelphia lead. Nice body control by Seth Curry. I mean, he's so good at fending off defenders on the way up. Levert with the ball. Now guarded by Harris. You know, using his size advantage there to rip down that board in traffic. The 76ers have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. One eleven left in the fourth quarter of this one. Shot clock at six. And Maxi, here we go. And that one is stuffed right through. And there is no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the 76ers. Absolute fireworks display. High scoring game. They were unstoppable, Grant. Yeah, just relentless from start to finish. And the pace was furious. Ultimately, they wore out the other team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. The stats tell us that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. Inside, Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Indiana again missing. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Joel, congratulations. A quality win tonight. What enabled you to secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. The toughness showed and paid off. Thanks, Joel.